the bigger version of what I'm trying to do, if we can take something that we're struggling with as a family and individually, you know, to to help other people. Well, buckle up because Tallulah just dished out the hottest gossip on Bruce Willis. And it's not exactly a red carpet moment for him. Word on the street is Bruce's mental state is doing the limbo in a bit of a rut and there's no blockbuster improvement in sight. But wait, there's more. Tallulah spilled the tea on her father's final message about his health. Let the Hollywood drama unfold. I need to make room for it so that when I see it come up, I can just say, okay, I see you, I understand why you're coming up, and you're going to go over here. In the spring of 2022, the spotlight shone on Bruce Willis as news broke that he was grappling with aphasia, a tricky condition that played hide-and-seek with his communication skills. But hold on to your popcorn, because there's an encore. After the grand reveal of his retirement post-aphasia diagnosis in 2022, the Willis family was back with a sequel, a tough update that's making headlines. In a plot twist delivered straight from Demi's Instagram account, the Fab Five women spilled the tea in a united front on a joint post. The update was a bit of a downer. They revealed that Bruce's condition has taken a somber turn into the realm of frontotemporal dementia, aka FTD. It's a real-life drama unfolding on the gram. It said, Bruce always believed in using his voice in the world to help others and to raise awareness about important issues both publicly and privately. We know in our hearts that if he could today, he would want to respond by bringing global attention and a connectedness with those who are also dealing with this debilitating disease and how it impacts so many individuals and their families. Moreover, in another statement on social media, they said it was a relief to finally have a clear diagnosis. They expressed their deepest gratitude for the incredible outpouring of love. The family went on to say frontotemporal dementia is the most common form of dementia in people under 60 and has no treatments available. Today, there are no treatments for the disease, a reality that we hope can change in the years ahead. After this, there was a lot of talk among Bruce's fans, speculating that his health was on a decline. Confirmation came from his daughter Tallulah, who revealed on a recent episode of The Drew Barrymore Show that her father's condition, frontotemporal dementia, was not improving. Tallulah explained why her family chose to be open about the diagnosis with the public. And so, you know, we're there and we're watching rumor and, you know, for me, I'm the youngest of, I call it the first litter. Yes. So I'm the youngest of the first litter. The 29-year-old revealed to Drew, despite his condition, he remains unchanged and I've come to realize that's the best outcome we can hope for. She went on to express the special connection she still shares with her 68-year-old father, a movie star, emphasizing the love they continue to share despite the challenges of frontotemporal dementia. Well, I think it's twofold. I think on one hand, it's who we are as a family, but also it's really important for us to spread awareness about FTD. When Barrymore asked her guest why she and her family are so open about the disease, Tallulah replied, if we can take something that we're struggling with as a family to help other people, to turn it around to make something beautiful about it, that's really special for us, she continued. And part of what's been a really beautiful way for me to heal through this is becoming like an archaeologist to my dad's world, to his little trinkets and doodads. Moreover, according to Closer magazine, Demi Moore also experienced heartbreak when her ex-husband Bruce Willis couldn't recognize her. The 60-year-old actress, upon returning from a trip to Italy during the summer, reportedly faced the heartbreaking reality that the die-hard actor, currently battling frontotemporal dementia, was no longer able to acknowledge her. Bruce and Demi were married in 1987 and remained together for 13 years, during which they had three daughters, Rumor, Scout, and Tallulah. An insider said, Demi kept in touch with the kids and Bruce's wife, Emma Hemming, but she had no idea he'd gone so far downhill. While Demi was in Italy, the insider alleges Bruce's memory of her faded. They added, Demi could tell he really didn't recognize her. Despite the challenges he faces, the source suggests that Bruce can still recognize his current wife, Emma, and their children on occasion. According to Closer, there are moments when he expresses joy, particularly when his eldest daughter, Rumor, enters the room with her new baby, Lou. However, the insider also noted that Bruce can exhibit aggression and is undergoing a noticeable physical decline. You know, what I'm learning is that dementia is hard. It's hard on the person diagnosed. It's also hard on the family. Um, and that is no different for Bruce or myself or our girls. 
Doctors believe that the type of dementia afflicting Bruce Willis is just one among various forms that this condition can manifest. Determining the specific type is crucial as it influences the required care and sets expectations for both the patient and their family members. Moreover, there is no cure or way to slow the progression of frontotemporal dementia, a doctor said. Because it's less common than Alzheimer's disease, there probably hasn't been as much research and there haven't been any treatments that have been shown to be beneficial. However, in a recent interview, Bruce Willis's wife, Emma Hemming Willis, shared that it is challenging to determine whether the actor, renowned for his roles in Die Hard and Pulp Fiction, is aware of the extent to which his condition has deteriorated. Speaking to today's Hoda Kotb, she revealed that she has been a care partner for her husband since the moment of diagnosis. We're a very honest and mm. open household, and you know, the most important thing was to be able for us to say what the disease was, explain what it is. Emma described Bruce as the gift that keeps on giving, imparting lessons of love, patience, and resilience to their family amid the challenges they face. Hemming Willis is actively advocating for individuals dealing with the condition known as FTD, which includes symptoms such as emotional issues, communication difficulties, walking struggles, and challenges with work, as outlined by the National Institute on Aging. Because when you know what the disease is from a medical standpoint, it sort of all makes sense. So it was important that we let them know what it is because, you know, I don't want there to be. Frontotemporal dementia can often be misdiagnosed. And to finally understand what was happening so that I could be into the acceptance of what is, it doesn't make it any less painful. But just being in the know of what is happening to Bruce makes it a little easier, Hemming Willis said. She further went on saying, dementia is hard. It's hard on the person diagnosed. It's also hard on the family, Hemming Willis said, and that is no different for Bruce or myself or our girls. When they say this is a family disease, it really is. However, Moonlight creator Glenn Gordon also shared his views on Willis's health condition while he was working with him. When Willis's late 1980 SABC series, Moonlighting, became available to stream on Hulu. For five seasons, Willis and Sybil Shepard revolutionized the will they or won't they couple on TV. And the actor was eager for the world to see the show again on streaming, according to Moonlighting creator Glenn Gordon Karen. The process to get Moonlighting onto Hulu has taken quite a while and Bruce's disease is a progressive disease. So I was able to communicate with him before the disease rendered him as incommunicative as he is now, about hoping to get the show back in front of people, Karen recently told the New York Post. I know it means a lot to him. Karen shared that he has remained in contact with Willis's wife and three older children since colleagues on the sets of the actor's recent films expressed concern about his well-being before the diagnosis. In an interview with the New York Post, Karen mentioned, I have tried very hard to stay in his life, Karen told the New York Post, adding, The thing that makes his disease so mind-blowing is that, if you've ever spent time with Bruce Willis, there is no one who had any more joie de vivre than he. He loved life and just adored waking up every morning and trying to live life to its fullest. Karen informed the Post that FTD has left Willis largely incapable of communication, likening it to perceiving life through a screen door. However, he expressed the belief that Willis can still recognize him. Karen stated that his sense was that in the first one to three minutes. Willis knew who he was. He noted that Willis was not completely verbal anymore and has lost his previous avid reading habit. Despite the absence of those language skills, Karen emphasized that Willis is still fundamentally Bruce. The creator further remarked that when you're with him, you understand that he's Bruce, and you're thankful that he's present, but the joy of life is no longer there. And I guess eventually somebody said, what about that Bruce Willis fellow? And they offered him, he had a, a very, 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 uh, smart, shrewd agent. However, his family is trying to do everything for him, but the treatment for this disease is very difficult to find. His fans also showed their concerns for Bruce's health. One of them wrote, I love their family dynamics. Bruce Willis has always been one of my favorite actors. I feel so sad about his health condition, but I'm happy that the family is very close. That's genuine love period. Another one added, doesn't get much time left. Wow, just wow. Bruce deserves better than that. We have been enjoying his acting for decades. I remember watching Moonlighting, such a great show. My grandma loved him and always said that Bruce Willis is so good looking, he's always got that shit eating smirk on his face. Well, it seems like his health is getting worse day by day. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.